everyone, I'm Nefiria. So, I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV in one month, I think. And I think I'm ready to give my uh, unasked opinion about the game for the internet. That no one asked for, you know, but I still want to give it. <laughs> Before we start, I have to say that I'm definitely a WoW, vet WoW veteran. I've been playing World of Warcraft since 2005. I've been maining a melee DPS ever since, most of the time. And I've dabbled into everything, including hardcore progression rating. Um, so I know what I'm talking about. Therefore, you probably have to say that I did not get into the whole thing with a fresh um, new player experience to the whole genre kind of perspective. But uh, I've tried to keep an open mind and start the game as I would any other non-MMO related game, although it was pretty hard. I've been trying Final Fantasy XIV a month ago while giving it a few good uh, tries before making this video. And, uh, okay, one other thing I have to note is around two years ago I, s I tried Final Fantasy XIV for like I think four or five hours and I couldn't get into it back then. I don't really know why, it just, it really did not resonate with me and it didn't catch me. So I deinstalled it and now there is this drought in World of Warcraft. I have friends who play Final Fantasy XIV and I was like, okay, you know what? I feel like I'm ready to try again. So I did. Here are my thoughts about Final Fantasy XIV after having played World of Warcraft for 16 years and how I feel about it all. Okay. So first thing I noticed of course were the graphics my first thought of it was okay that's not um not the best but that's because i'm so used to this cartoonish graphics which i also liked in star wars the old republic republic that anything that's not cartoonish feels more like it could it's not timeless to me and so it felt more like oh okay this yeah it's not new that's for sure i mean it's not you know the last of us too but you can't expect these kind of things that was my initial thought, okay? Later on, after a few hours of gameplay and after doing a few dungeons, there was this one moment where I reached this dungeon. And again, I'm a noob. I don't even know the name of the dungeon. I remember there was a lot of vegetation. It was outside. And it was night. And the fauna, fauna? Not fauna, yeah, you should. <laughs> the fauna, the, the, you know, the, 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 everything, the leaves, the plants, the monsters, things started glowing in color. I mean, obviously, and it, I don't know, it was the most beautiful thing to look at in that moment in Final Fantasy XIV, in that dungeon. I don't know what it was, but it hit me and I was like, oh my God. Why did I think this game is not beautiful? Because damn, that was, that looked really good. And that was only one of the Realm Reborn dungeons. So really, I didn't even reach any expansion yet. And as it is also with World of Warcraft, the newer the expansion, the more beautiful it probably, you know, will look. I haven't even gotten to that point yet. But that was amazing. At first, I wasn't a fan of the graphics, but if you keep, you know, keep looking at it, and eventually it will just hit you with, oh my god, it, it's great. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing that um, struck out to me was... It's really story driven. It's kind of like Star Wars The Old Republic. You know you're playing an MMO deep inside, but because there's so much story, it doesn't always feel like an MMO at first. It's really quite different. I know there's story in World of Warcraft as well, and maybe if I was a new player, I would be more focused on it, but now that I, you know, played this in 16 years, there's just only so much new things you can experience, and that's only happening with patches, and which is, by the way, why I'm excited for 9.1, but that's another topic. So that, that really hit me, and one, of the, one other thing that hit me in this regard is you have to be really willing to read. It, this is not the Elder Scrolls Online and it's not Star Wars The Old Republic. There is, no, there is voiced scenes and everything, but not all the quests are voiced. So if you really want to follow the story, you have to be willing to read a lot. And at first that really kind of... I wasn't a fan. Yeah, so I skipped the first... Like, Half of my leveling experience, I was like, oh god, skip, skip, skip. But then I started paying attention. And I was like, okay, you know what, actually, I will let that scene play out. And yeah, okay, I will read that quest, and I will read this dialogue, and 
the more you're getting into it the more it really hits you with it's actually a really good story and from what my friends tell me it only gets better like i'm in the part of the game where it's supposed to be i mean it is not supposed to be it is kind of you know it's a dragging a little bit that's what it feels like at first at least and i'm i told myself okay just just keep going just keep keep questing just so you reach the first expansion but the more i kept that mindset i mean the more i let go of that mindset is what i mean the more i'm like okay you know what actually it's really good already how good is it gonna be in the other expansions that i didn't even reach yet so that's the second thing that this it's very story driven and you gotta be reading a lot okay because that's how you really get into it so that's what I'm doing now that I learned my mistake of skipping a bit of the game um, and I'm not regretting it as, as far as that video goes so there is that the third thing um, that I noticed and really like is the freedom of playing one character in World of Warcraft how often did I wish that my main character I could just transfer the reputation maybe all the gear that i collect over the years the transmog that dropped if only it would just unlock account wide you know how in world of warcraft there's this thing if you're playing a plate wearing class and you're doing a raid and uh, the gear drops that is not your armor armor type like you're wearing plate but leather is dropping then you will not get the look you know the transmog or the glamour for this piece of gear because you couldn't wear it because you're plate wearing class and how often I wish to myself, why can't I just still collect the appearance for if I play any other spec at some point eventually in the future? Could it not just already be in the book? That would I would have loved if that was a possibility. And in Final Fantasy, it is. If you know, because you only have one character, everything you collect on that character, you will have it on your other specs. Because you don't actually have to switch character. You only literally have to switch spec. It's like your main World of Warcraft character had all the specs in the game and all you have to do is respec. But the only difference being you don't just level once. It's like you still have to level them up one by one, all the classes, but it's still on the same character. So I really love that and I wish other games would do it too. I think the reason other games don't do it is money because if you have everything done on one character, you will spend less time in the game and then not come back to it as often, right? As if you had to do it over and over on different characters but square enix is actually quite amazing in that regard because they don't care they say they are fine with you taking a break from what i've heard and i think that's really rare and admirable you know and then of course the next thing that i noticed is the global cooldown and i don't think we have to go into it a lot um it's true that it's very slow at first especially if you're coming from world of warcraft especially if you play melee dps you don't have cast time Fury Warrior, Survival Hunter, it, it's just you smash your boobs onto the keyboard and things happen, you know? It's quick, 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 everything is just so fast and yeah, coming to Final Fantasy, I noticed that I'm just having like, I'm just standing there and I'm waiting for my cast to be through and once it's through, okay, because I'm so used to World of Warcraft, of course I keep smashing the same button even if I know there's this cooldown and I need to wait, but there is uh, something called queuing in Final Fantasy, so pressing your button before it's actually fully off cooldown makes sense because you kind of cue the spell for it to happen next it's a whole thing i don't even know like i can't explain it because i don't even really get it but it's a thing so i'm just anyways uh, from world of warcraft i'm used to it so i'm, sp I'm, sm I'm smash my buttons so there's that these are the things that i really thought were amazing and that made me essentially keep playing the game simply because the graphics are actually really beautiful. The story is really good. And I can play my one character. If in the future I want to play another spec, I can do that on the same character. Just gotta grind a few dungeons and whatnot. Great, I'm, I'm all for it. And the reason I didn't play Final Fantasy XIV for so long and only started now is not because... Oh, uh, yeah, okay, there's a drought in World of Warcraft. Yeah, that's a reason too. But it's also... It felt very overwhelming to play more than one uh, MMO at a time and when I tried it back then it wouldn't catch me so I didn't feel like I want to give it another chance but then I opened my mindset and I opened myself up to just experiencing it for what it is and once I did I was really not disappointed it's it's 
it's a great game. And you know, I know how everyone's like, oh, if you have friends, then it's even greater, you know? Yeah, I have a friend I played a game with. But I also played it solo already, and because it's so story-focused, you don't... At least while leveling, it's good either way, you know what I'm saying? I just, I'm, just, I'm so excited about the fact, because I've been playing the same MMO for 16 years, and for me to find another MMO, other than Star Wars The Old Republic, which by the way is so great for the story, I thought it would never happen again. But man, was I wrong. Why did no one else tell me that I should play? I, I don't know. I'm walking around there, I see so many uh, sprouts, that's what newbies are called in Final Fantasy XIV, and I'm just like, is everyone like me? Is everyone just testing the game right now? And, and why have we not tested it before? Because I, I don't even have an excuse. It's good, it's great. In fact, right now, as I'm recording this video, I'm thinking to myself, I could just play Final Fantasy XIV. But you know, I just, I don't know. I feel like if there's any, if there's just one person out there that is playing World of Warcraft and is hesitant of trying Final Fantasy XIV and doesn't really know, and is maybe like me of really loving World of Warcraft and unlike the people who are always like, oh, you know, it's going downhill, blah, blah, whatever. I love World of Warcraft. I will always love it and I will always play it. But guys, you gotta give Final Fantasy XIV a chance because honestly, it's so much better than I expected. And I will not put that away either. Am I crazy? Am I going to plan on playing two MMOs at the same time? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Have I, do I have regrets? No. In fact, I played the free version of Final Fantasy and I think I was level 30 when I decided, you know what, fuck this. I'm buying the game. So then I bought the game. Granted, it was reduced at that point, um, but I have, I'm have. i so happy I did, because now I'm almost finished with A Realm Reborn and I can jump into the next expansion and I, I have no clue what awaits me and I'm so excited about it. I didn't even finish A Realm Reborn yet. I'm pretty sure there's still a dungeon or something I have to do before the story, you know, climaxes, as I, as will I once it does. But I'm just so excited and I'm sorry that the this video is a bit of a ramble and maybe there's no structure to it. It's because, yeah, well, I'm 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 still kind of have no do what I'm doing. No do, yeah, I still have no clue what I'm doing, and um, I'm just gonna learn as I go with videos in the future because honestly, I'm so excited. It's I feel like it's starting to evolve into a I don't know passion. I definitely want to do more videos about quite frankly anything, and Final Fantasy is just it's just my. It is a very good excuse to start going back at it, you know, and learning and using it to just do this whole thing here. And I, I decided it would be fun to share it with you guys, because honestly, if you're playing World of Warcraft and you were on the verge, maybe this video, I don't know, maybe me being excited kind of makes you feel like, okay, you know what, I'm installing it and I'm just trying it. And if you do, trust me, at first you might not like it because it's really not like World of Warcraft. You have to really be going at it with an open mind, okay? But if you do, trust me, you won't regret it. Or maybe you will, because you're really not into it. And that's fine too. I'm just saying, me as someone who played World of Warcraft for so long, I didn't think, I didn't think something would like that would happen to me. And I'm just so excited. On top of all that, the community, by the way. Chef's kiss, you know. <laughs> I'm just saying, I haven't met a bad player yet. As in, not bad, like, they didn't pull the whole room and we all died. By the way, we didn't. But in sense of, no one was unnice to me. In fact, when there was a time where I went into a dungeon without my friend, I immediately said that I'm a noob and I have no clue what's going on. And everyone was super sweet. And there was someone who was not a new player in there because he pulled the whole room. And I thought we would all die. But we didn't. Could also be because I'm kind of used to playing MMOs, so I'm... You know, that stress of I need to heal them all up and be good at it. And like, it's not like I'm a total noob to the thing, but it's just so much fun, you guys. And I am i can't wait to see the what happens at the end of A Realm Born. And I don't even know what's the next expansion. Is it, is it Heaven's Ward? I'm so excited to know what it's going to look like. I wonder if the cities are changing. Like, because in World of Warcraft, whenever there's a new expansion, then there's also like a new main hub. And I, I don't even know what my hub is right now that I think about it. Is it Limsa, Lim, Limonza, Limonen, Limetto, you know, these names. I, I will never get used to it. I mean, I will eventually, but I don't know. And that's just what excites me. There's so much to discover 
it's not a story game that just ends. And I think that's what excites me too. It's not like you're playing Spider-Man and while well, the game is finished, so then that was cool. And it's over, you know. The Last of Us, great, I'm done with it. What do I do now with my life? I found a game that is an MMO that I enjoy and it's the like the expansion that has a new expansion out at the at the at the end of the year. As you can hear, I start to stutter because I'm just being excited. And I'm, I don't know, you guys, I'm really happy about it. And I, I just wanted to share my feelings about it and what I think of it. Don't get me wrong, I will always love World of Warcraft and I will never stop playing it. But I'm so excited because it's a different MMO and there's so much for me to experience. It it really brought back the sense of wonder for me. The, the, the sense of wanting to explore where the story goes. When I go into a new zone, I'm like, oh my god. Like, I... I oh god, what, what's the name of the zone? My quests brought me to to a zone there was snow in, okay? I rem And suddenly, these feelings, back then, when I... For the first time I went to Winter Spring in World of Warcraft, okay? It was kind of like that. I, I went to that zone in Final Fantasy, which name I can't even recall, for quests. And I was like, oh my god, it's snowing here? And it, it was like a revelation. I mean, it's a game. Of course, there can be biff and biomes. But to me, in that moment, it was like... What? This is so cool, you know, like back then when I first entered Winter Spring in World of Warcraft. And I really missed that and I'm so happy that I have that right now again. And so if if there's one thing I would tell you from... No, if there's one thing that when you finish the video that you keep from it or like take away from it is... I played World of Warcraft for 16 years and Final Fantasy XIV has reawakened... Reawoken? It has revived my inner child that's it that's really it i feel like back then playstation 2 final fantasy 10 or the first time i played kingdom hearts it's like wow you know that's it that's that's the takeaway from the video and i'm just so excited i'm pretty sure there will be many many more so you know also world of warcraft of course because i love both games and both games have something that the other doesn't have but if you you can only play a game so much and after 16 years, I'm so ready for this because it's amazing. And I can't wait to do more. And I'm sorry for the ramble, but with the videos, it's the same thing. I'm just going to learn it as I go. So I hope you have a great day and thank you for hanging out. Mm -hmm.